Straw Hut Media. Hello, Heartbreakers. I hope you all are doing good. I'm really excited today because I get to interview Chloe Cherry. I'm so happy. Steph, actually, the, my makeup artist and good friend actually made this connection. So, well, yeah. I know you. Yeah. I just was too scared to <laughs> ask, you know. <laughs> so Steph actually was like, you got to interview her and yeah. stuff. I'm yeah. so happy you're here. Yes, I'm happy to be here. I I'm haven't here. had and I don't like I'm not like against talking about the industry, of course, but like I just don't I feel like there's a million podcasts. So I've like, yeah, like there literally are. Yeah, there's so many like I don't. Yeah. And I find that like when I first like got out of the industry and went on podcasts, all anybody wanted to talk about was the porn industry, even though I had just done an entire HBO show and like done all these movies and like done all this stuff. And like all anyone wanted to talk about was the industry. And like, I'm sure you know how annoying it is. No, for sure. It's annoying. I mean, the only thing that I like think I haven't talked to somebody about or like really heard about is like the transition. Oh, yeah. And like, because like one of my questions actually is, it's like, I've had girls in the industry be like, oh, I got into the industry so I can go mainstream. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you understand that that's really super rare and actually super harder rare. yeah i mean exactly. i don't know how it is to do it without the industry but yeah i feel like it's a hundred times harder like a hundred yeah times. yeah really hard i remember i didn't get into the porn industry thinking i would go into mainstream i thought i'd get into the porn industry to like make money you yeah know? of course i'm <laughs> and, glad you said that though because everyone's always like i just love sex so much <laughs> like just say oh, it's no. for the money yeah exactly i've had so many discussions with so many girls about how like that industry the only reason anybody does it is for money like no one cares like yeah. literally there's on, not, not even that. the men don't care about the sex no of course they don't <laughs> like, they Their don't eyes at are all closed. yeah it's like completely just about the money because you do make like way more money than you would at like any other kind of like entry level job where you don't need like a degree or something so yeah and it's a bunch of hurry up and wait it's not like you really have to like do too much at yeah. least from my experience totally exactly yeah but how did you then get into acting if that it was your... literally like um i it was so random and i'm so lucky that i had this experience but I had been in the industry from like 2015 to like 2019 and then in like 2019 I decided that I wanted to quit and like I really didn't know what I was gonna do like I thought I was gonna like go back to college or like do something because like I just knew that like I really really didn't want to be in the porn industry did when you I was, not like, even want to do the subscription sites I was doing that that okay. was like fine for me for like a little bit just to kind of like transition me, you yeah. know? And um, I think that was like all I was doing. And I was living with my family back in Pennsylvania because I was like, didn't feel like dealing with like paying LA rent and all no, that stuff. Course. And I just wanted to like kind of transition. And I was genuinely thinking of like going back to college and I was literally like taking like online courses. For and what? like I was taking like medical courses. Like nice. I was going to get I into like the medical industry. That, yeah, yeah. I was just trying like anything I could because I really wanted something that I really hated about the porn industry was that I never felt like I had this like just real job, you know, because it felt yeah, like it was something that like anybody could do with no skill. Anybody could do it. And like it wasn't always like guaranteed money, you know, like for me personally, it was a very unstable industry to be in and like didn't make me feel like confident with myself or anything so like i just knew that like i wanted to go back to school so that way by the time i was like 30 i would be like fully out of the industry and doing something that i was actually like really proud of yeah you know? of course and i was still doing like social media and stuff because i really like social media and just kind of like being on the internet and one day this casting company like contacts me through my dms and they're like hey, will you audition for the show Euphoria? And when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's completely just like a phishing scam. Or and like, the season one was already out. Yeah, season one so was already knew, out. Yeah. yeah, and I had seen it and I liked it. And, um, and I saw this DM and I was like, that's weird. Like, there's no way that they actually want me to audition for you for it like Were there's no way scared too? i was yeah <laughs> but i also just thought it was fake and then like i got an email that said like hey we want you to audition for this show and i literally responded back to one of the emails because they like kept emailing me and i was like 
no, like, I'm not interested because I genuinely thought it was fake. Like, I yeah. thought it was a scam because, like, who on earth would ever expect to have a show contact you? That's just not yeah, how things go. Yeah, that's true. I never yeah. thought about that. And then they emailed me back and they were like, are you sure? Like, the director really wants to see your tape? And I was like, okay, fine. Like, if I'm just sending in a self-tape, I guess that's not going to hurt me that so much. So they, you know? they were like, please record yourself. Yeah, like, acting, yeah. Like, fake Yeah, act. yeah, wow. yeah. Self-tape, yeah. And then they sent me a script. They were like, they literally sent me a scene from like another movie and they wanted me to like recreate it. So then I did that and I sent it in and I was like, okay, whatever, like. I don't know. We'll see what this is. And they were like, we really like it. Will you come in for the callback on like Thursday? And it was like Monday. And I was like, no, I'm in Pennsylvania. Like, <laughs> yeah. I can't come to this callback. And at that time, like, I still wasn't sure if it was a real thing. But they liked that about you, probably. They were yeah. like, this girl thinks she's too good. And they, I feel yeah, like I mean, I just thought like it that. just seems like that's never happened ever where like anyone's just been like contacted to be on a TV show like that. So then I, they were like, come in for the callback. And they were like, oh, that's fine. We'll just, fly you out and I was like okay and then literally the what? next day I was like on a <laughs> flight to LA and like flew there and like did the callback and then I had like a good feeling about it I don't know what it was it's like a feeling that like I haven't it's felt many Virgo times intuition yeah something oh, where I just yeah. had a feeling that like I was gonna get it and then I did get it and um I was like wow like this just like it just made sense in the moment like for some reason because it was also like I was looking for a way to get out of the industry and like it just really worked just, out I was so lucky it's just your good karma that's yeah, really what it is yeah. I mean when I was watching of course I loved Euphoria and I when I saw it I started watching as soon as season two came out I was one of those people like it's, it's dropping today and then when I saw it, I was like no way that's her because yeah. I remember you obviously yeah. from the industry and I was like no way and I googled it and it popped up that it was you and I was like wait what because yeah. your acting was so good like Thank I you. remember when you put the needle in the leg and I was just like no that was too good like I really genuinely I was like I just never not that I didn't see you doing that because I feel like you're definitely someone that wasn't meant for the adult industry and I don't mean totally, that in like yeah. a mean way I actually no, mean it in like yeah. a but like I completely agree but like are that many people really like meant for it like to really like stay in it and not be their whole I career I think so yeah I guess I there are some people I think there's that are. a lot of people that that is like and I think that it's great and empowering too. But I yeah. think that that's their calling in life. Like yeah, it's that's not, really interesting otherwise more to me. people would because I remember out. like being in the industry and from like probably like my first year and on, I was always like trying to find some way out. But like you kind of at least the my experience was like I felt like I kind of like got trapped in it where like suddenly I like had a lease on an apartment yeah. in L.A. and like I just had wardrobe, to pay my rent new wardrobe every time you got yeah go to and like suddenly I had like all these bills that I had to pay and my only income was the porn industry and then I like and it's also impossible to be like a porn star and then just go out and get like literally any job like even if it was like no, at Chipotle not. or like any job that like people say is like easy for young people to get like nobody wants to hire like a 21 year old who's never had a real job you yeah know? like no, they really no work don't history That's, exactly yeah. I think about that often with myself I'm like I don't really have a work history for literally, the last 10 and years like, what am I gonna yeah, do with so it? like Fails. totally and that's like why i was gonna like go to college or do something and do anything that do i could that. yeah i know, that, I maybe I know you could. have like such a like a good career right now but i mean i feel like you're just smart and you should do that just to like yeah. expand your brain yeah you know even if you don't get the actual degree yeah but what do you do like what's what are you working on now are you working right on now i'm working on um well, I have, like, I do, like, a lot of, like, indie movies, nice. like, a lot of them, and I've done seven so far, wow. and then I have, like, three more that I'm cast in that, like, we're kind of just waiting for it to, like, get fully put together so we can start, so hopefully, like, this coming fall, I'll be shooting that, and then... Yeah, I have more stuff that I I can't exactly do, talk about, but yeah, oh, true. I yeah, have I like more stuff. Yeah. And you do commercials and stuff. Yeah, I do like a lot of brand deals that's and that kind cool. of stuff. And yeah, that's really cool. I used to do like a little bit of fashion stuff, but I haven't done that in a while. That's like such an interesting world to me, like the yeah. runway modeling and stuff. Like that's also like a world that like 
I it's you like impossible go. to be like thin enough, you know, for oh, that. Yeah, and like yeah. tall no, enough because yeah, yeah. I'm tall, but I'm still not even tall enough for that, you know. But yeah, I'm no, they want tall. like legit six foot women. Yes, exactly. And like yeah. they do really want them a hundred pounds. But you yeah. were on the cover of Galore, right? Yeah, I did yeah, do Galore. Yeah, I've done a bunch so of covers fun. actually. But the runway modeling, I remember like because in the adult industry, I always felt very tall and like thin. And then in the modeling industry, like you in runway, short. I felt like a circle. Like I felt like oh, I was literally stop. shaped like a circle. Like you feel so fat and short because everyone's like, yeah, like six feet tall and a hundred pounds. I know. And then and then yeah, when they put the outfits on you and it's a and it's a double zero and it's you know and you're like, why'd you send that? You know, I know. it's like not yeah nobody can it's just ridiculous they totally. i don't know why they do that or like you know but I, you're just so unique looking and so pretty you should do more thank you, you should thank do you, like you. like gucci or like something yeah like that, that is always like, like the goal but it's kind of like at least in the side of the industry i'm in like it kind of works where like if you have like a project out then like brands like that want to work with you if i have a show out or a movie out then like me doing a shoot with them like it promotes their brand through the movie and stuff and yeah. it's all kind of cross promotion yeah exactly but you guys, are you guys working on season three or you're not allowed to say that i are can't you... say okay but they're they are making season three i can say that okay. but i can't nice. say like the... who's involved and everything but they are okay. making it yeah zadea is born on the same day as me oh i don't wow. know why <laughs> I, always say, I know everybody's birthday like yours is <laughs> august 23rd yes and happy yes. birthday thank by you. the way thank you're you, gonna do anything you. fun i really don't know because my boyfriend's out of town and like okay, i don't I know what else to do i don't know it feels weird to like have like a party or like a dinner I without him so that. like i feel like i will just kind of decide on the day and then when he's back i'll like do like something yeah. with my friends and him so nice yeah. i was gonna ask you because obviously this podcast is about dating yes and i was gonna ask how, i'm excited how is it... to talk about dating you are <laughs> yeah nice i was gonna ask like was it hard because how long have you been with your boyfriend was he before... i've been with him only for five months or okay, almost so six new. months yeah has it been hard dating mainstream um like do you get unique type of guys so when i was like in the porn industry i had like one boyfriend through the whole industry he wasn't in the industry but like he was like an artist so like he kind of thought it was like interesting or whatever and like i had that <laughs> yeah. boyfriend and then i was like single for a while and i had like on and off like situationship things and for the longest time i felt like so many guys like to me it felt like no guy was like interested in a relationship like they were all interested in like hanging out but not like an actual relationship you know was it like was it mainstream people was yeah, it yeah yeah it was like only i mean i actually me have literally never had anything with anyone in the porn industry i've never oh, yeah. like hooked up with them in like person or no, like i don't anything. see you doing that i've nobody never nobody does had, that I've people who do that i think are like no offense to them and i gotta be careful talking shit about the industry <laughs> yeah. but i think that people who go to set and sleep with the like whoever their talent is and then want to sleep with, i just think it's weird it's so i don't crazy. i know people are gonna yeah. view this and be like well what? that makes total sense they just had sex i and know no, i think it's weird it's so i don't get it at all and like i never had like any even the most vague feelings for anyone in that industry <laughs> yeah but yeah. like i um your face i found like just people that were yeah like in mainstream we're just kind of in like mainstream is like huge like there's so many you can be like a photographer like a million things like behind the scenes and like i would meet a lot of people that way or people that were artists in some way and like I would just kind of like date around for a while but like nobody like really wanted I mean and then I think also like maybe I didn't like anybody enough to actually yeah. like give them my full self you know like I would always end up like playing games with people and just like not responding like we were talking oh, to Stephanie the, you'd about be the like, toxic one <laughs> yeah like I would just be like oh well he didn't respond fast enough to me so I'm just gonna not respond to him or something Ever I would always again. do that <laughs> yeah and like with my boyfriend now like we've never had a day that was like that like oh Oh, like he's not responding or something and like what does he do he's a musician nice. he's in a band and he's like really busy like constantly playing shows and he's always out of town which is like hard but then at the same time it's like i spend like every moment with him when he is in town then yeah, when he leaves town break. i like am just you know doing my own thing so like in a way it like works like we make it work how you know? is he young old 
He's 36, so he's like 10 years older okay, than me. That's, yeah. I feel like that's a good age. It's a really good age. Like, I wouldn't want to, I didn't realize this, but that's like the exact age I want to be dating. Like, I don't want to yeah, date anyone any younger. I don't want to be with anybody too old just because yeah. they get to be like a little boring and a little too controlling. Totally. And then I don't want too young because of just the immaturity. Yes, but. exactly. Like, I don't really want to date somebody especially like i'm like 26 almost 27 like i'm not gonna date somebody who's like 23 but i'm also not gonna date somebody who's like 53 so like yeah i feel like <laughs> yeah third, you've never like, dated an old guy i've never dated oh, wow. like an old guy never wow. ever i you know what no offense and i don't know if it's offensive but i would have taken you for someone that has always like you just seem so mature <laughs> yeah so it's like i would have taken I'm you for someone that's like, always been with older I've, like, had, like, not even, like, a fling, kind of just, like, a, you know when you have, like, a friendship with somebody where, like, they have a crush on you or something? Yeah, I've had that I mean, with a bunch like, of older guys, actually, like, with, like, men in, like, their 50s or whatever, where, like, we're, like, friends, but, like, they're, like, in love with me. I've had that a couple you times. You never had a sugar daddy? No, I never had, like, what? a real sugar daddy. I literally, like, like you said earlier, like, I didn't fit in the porn industry. Like, I genuinely do not know how to navigate, like, that <laughs> yeah. whole industry. Like, I don't know, like, what, how do you even find a sugar daddy? Like, what do you even, like... They just, like, like they just, I don't know. They just, like, come to you. You'll be out and they just yeah crazy I mean, but i don't know that is an, it's that's exhausting yeah but what's your uh favorite date or do you have like a horrible date that you went on a that horrible? was like oh my god one time i this was back in like 2020 or 2021 or something i met this girl who i really got along with and then she was like i want to set you up with this guy i know and she sets me up with this guy that she knows and he's like I forget what his deal was, but then we go out and he was like, I don't know, like, you know, those I, I feel like I never meet them. I only see them like on the Internet, those like kind of like really right wing guys that like really like guns and like yeah like really texas style really texas style that's a great way to put it yeah and uh and at first i was like i was like very single at the time and i like wasn't interested in anyone so i was like okay i'll just go on this date and meet this guy and he was just so like you know those guys that just say things like well woman women shouldn't or like you know oh, yeah, this or whatever really like outspoken yeah and like they don't even need to be and it's just was so strange and then I, he took me back to his place because he wanted to like show me his guns he was like yeah i have oh a my gun God, collection you weren't scared that would and scare then me I <laughs> went back to his place and to see his gun collection and i'm not even kidding he had like this cabinet that had like a hundred guns in it, like so many guns. It was just packed with guns. And that's, that was the weirdest that, date I've been on. That That is weird. And that's honestly, I'd be really scared. Yeah. Like, and I remember be being like, okay. Did you, and you were like, I got to go home mm -hmm. or. Yeah. And then I left and then I never talked to him ever again. Right away. Or yeah. No. <laughs> I was just like, I don't know why I just thought it'd be interesting to see the guns. And I was just like, I'm just never going to talk to this guy again. <laughs> yeah. I think you just have a curious mind. I yes. Literally. Like, like, yeah. Mm, I don't, it, this might get me in trouble, but yeah. you know, the same live fast, die pretty. Yeah. Like, I always say that I'm like just yeah. get yourself in a bad situation why not yeah I'd rather exactly. die like that having fun yeah, yeah. I know you wanted to t I loved your lip fillers but did you take them out or um, no I know you yeah to talk I about did them. take them out because the reason that I took out the lip fillers was just because I was trying to see if it would fit more roles like I wanted mm. to see because I feel like the big lip filler it doesn't exactly fit like every single role because a lot of the auditions I would get would be for like someone kind of like younger or like someone who just wouldn't have lip filler so I just got the lip filler removed just to kind of see like you know where it led me like what are the roles I got and like still like all the roles that I'm getting like could have lip filler yeah. like all everything that I have right now like they all those characters could have lip filler but I also just like and now when I see photos of myself with like the really, really big lip filler, like the biggest they ever were, I don't think that it looks good anymore. Like there was a point like they my lips have been bigger than this and looked good. But like when they were at their biggest, like it didn't look good at all to me. It was because how many years ago? 
did the that first was, season come out like was it that was 2022 oh okay, when it came okay. out yeah but i think the time when i had the big lip filler was 2021 when we were filming and i swear there was like a time like in between us filming or whatever where i had like the biggest lips ever you just kept injecting them more yes more literally more, kept yeah. injecting them and they just got like so big and like now i look back on it and like i really just don't think that those big lips looked good like but i remember at the time like i don't know how i had this like lip blindness but i thought Thought that it just looked really good and really natural and looked amazing but like instead <laughs> yeah. it just like I thought it looked good i'm not gonna say it looked natural <laughs> um, i can't say that but it did i that was back when lip fillers were like everybody had ridiculous lips and like it yeah. was a thing and I, I think it's iconic for you that you had those lip yeah. fillers and euphoria it really works too because totally. everything's so ridiculous yeah like even the outfits like yeah people don't wear those outfits to yes high school, exactly you know, like, yes. and stuff yeah. like that totally but, yeah so i think it totally worked for that but what's funny is like when i was getting my lips filled all those times like i didn't think like oh this is gonna like really help my like acting and modeling career and this is gonna like help me get more followers and stuff like i genuinely just thought that like i looked way better with the lip filler Aww, and like now yeah. it's like i still have lip filler like my lips are nowhere close like than my natural lips but i just don't know how big i'll go again because i don't know i'm not obsessed with like the overdone look anymore. you never had anything else just the lip filler and then i get like botox okay because yeah. i I've, I've definitely done it all and i dissolved like I redid my lips. I just did half a syringe, mm -hmm. but I don't even know over the years how many syringes were really like like. Oh in my god! There I still, swear so. I've gotten like twenty or like fifteen or like something yeah. crazy. I, oh, I definitely like. But I would do my under eye, and then I'd do my cheeks, and then I would do my chin. Like it always convinces you to do more. When you get in there, you got to be really yes. stern, and I'm not like that. But dissolving it, I didn't have a horrible experience. But I saw this thing recently that they're saying that. The filler's not really dissolving the way we think it is, which I feel like mine did like go down, but it someone got like an MRI or something like that, and it shows all the fillers yeah. over the years and like her whole face and the floating filler thing. That's what I had. Like yeah. my lips looked like I would have like underneath, like in the inside where it was like it fell down and like it just oh, looked. Wow. <laughs> I know Crazy. it was so gross, right? Yeah, I actually happen to have been really lucky with my lip filler, even though I had like an insane amount in my lips. It's still like you had a great shape. Nothing got like super messed up with it because like clearly I was able to get it removed and they look normal. Yeah, now, no, it you didn't know? stretch your lips out. Yeah, and I'm like really like lucky, but I remember like the things that people would like say to me like it would be like to my face like on the internet or anything of like you ruined your face you ruined your face I was gonna ask you about oh that oh my god yes like, like how do you handle the heat it cause... was so intense and so insane because like at the time when euphoria was like playing on tv and people were actively watching it i couldn't like leave my house at all without people recognizing me and then people would constantly say something about my lips and sometimes it would In be person? like mean yeah like sometimes oh they would be God, like I'm those sorry. lips are like so awful or whatever and like i really don't comprehend why like somebody else's features or whatever bothers you that yeah. much that you're you know and then like on the internet it was like so crazy like people would just go on and on and on about how it was just the most awful thing that they've ever seen then it's also that's like another reason why i got it removed because I'm like sorry, people yeah. would just i even though like i loved it like people would just give me so much shit all anytime i posted anything every comment would just lip filler is awful lip filler is awful and you're you look so terrible and like i um I just like literally couldn't handle it anymore. Like it was just so hard yeah. to have so many Did people like call you ugly. At all? Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. And it made me like really like question my self worth and like just made it like really, really hard for myself. And I really thought that like if I got the lip filler removed, that people would suddenly be like, oh, you're so pretty. But instead, like now I get the comments of like, what happened to your lips? What happened to your lips? And it's like, what the I fuck know. do you people want? You people, yeah, people are never happy. And I'm sorry that yeah. people are so mean. Like that is really hard. And people just, they really truly want to be mean just because they're jealous. And like, I, yeah. I hate having to acknowledge that because you want to think that like why do you care so much like why do other people care so much but they people are really mean out of straight jealousy 
I guess. I don't know. Because but I also have it's never... It's because you're successful. That's what it really is. Yeah. And not only are you successful, but you're able to be successful having... Being able to look however you want. Yeah. If you want to have ridiculous lips, you're going to be able to be in every type of you know i honestly think that the big lips like made me more successful because it was super unique yes you know like it was a unique feature yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do about the lips i like kind of i'm trying to see like just how this kind of natural looking face does for me but like i do miss the lips but then i also think like am i really just gonna keep getting them done that big like my whole life you know like absolutely why not years from now? <laughs> who cares i don't know <laughs> absolutely but it's you kind of like dissolve them. it's yeah yeah that is it's true, not like yeah. how it used to be you know when li- there was no dissolver the yeah. first time I got my lips done and I was really? like what did I do oh, yeah wow. at least they, they they didn't offer it to me when I didn't like wow. it they were like just you know three months from now it's not gonna be so bad I'm like okay. oh my gosh wow yeah. that's crazy what year did you first get your lips oh my done? god I was 18 19 I don't know if I've been out before that but like fresh fresh to LA wow I yeah a girl in the industry took me she was like you need to get your lips done <laughs> and my lips are naturally like like there's like paper, yeah same i actually thin. when i before i got lip filler i didn't think that i had no lips but now when i look back on like pictures of me from when i was like 19 or 20 like i really had like no lips at all yeah. i didn't even realize it yeah it's kind of like going back you know yeah that's kind of just what it is like the cycle of natural i just can't wait for flat booties to come back in style because it's <laughs> yeah. like it's a struggle for me everyone's like you're so funny and i'm like yeah that's because i have a flat ass <laughs> i have to be funny for that to make up it's true it's a real thing that you're if you don't have an ass you should be funny yeah because guys yeah. if you make them giggle you know <laughs> should we ryan should we do the <laughs> what it's true <laughs> you a flat ass <laughs> Someone says, I cut this guy's dick with my teeth and now he won't leave me alone. I, 22 female, recently went over to this guy's house for a hookup. We met on Bumble and we hit it off. I have a sensitive gag reflex and I told him I can't give head as I might puke on him. I also have weirdly sharp teeth, so it's risking a lot. <laughs> he said that he didn't care and really pushed me to give him head. I caved and the next thing I knew I was gagging and tasted blood and I pulled back and there was a few teeth marks and a lot of blood. I got dressed and ran out quickly. It's been a week and he keeps wanting to hang out and won't stop calling. He says he doesn't care that mistakes happen. Is it weird? Do you think he has a blood kink? What do I tell him? So. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, that was like. That's really interesting. It's really um, deep, huh? I would probably, like, if I liked the guy, like, at all, I would probably just be like, oh, okay, like, I'm sorry that that happened. I'll try not to do that again. <laughs> yeah. I Just kind of go on. <laughs> yeah. You're so chill. I think, yeah, accidents happen. I think yeah. she's just obviously more embarrassed than, you know, I saw this thing. It was like 99% of the time, only 1% of your thoughts are actually what the problem is. Yeah. So it was something like that. But here's... A good example i think that this guy legit doesn't care yeah and i don't know i did a blood kink sounds ridiculous but i mean maybe i I think he's trying to make her feel good i think that maybe like he just actually genuinely understood it was an accident (laughs) like he could have actually just been like oh yeah like you obviously didn't purposely do that to me and that was just an accident i don't think it's like a blood kink i don't know i feel like it would have gone a bit differently if he just had a yeah he would like bite harder yeah or or like like or he would have been like can you touch the blood and rub it on yourself or something stop please please (laughs) i can't Anyways, I could go deep with this. If he had a blood kink, then maybe like he'd be into period sex. I think yes, that that's someone yeah. that has like a blood kink. Yeah. Okay. The next one is polycule, right? That's what it's called. Polycule. <laughs> polycule. I might have destroyed a polycule with my horny antics. A polycule, do you know what that is? 
because I, I, I have had to like look a it vague up. idea. It's I guess it's a group. It's not obviously it's like polyamorous, but it's like a group of people that are dating. So let's see. I'm I'm 27 male recently joined a poly dating app and matched with a 36 year old woman that's married that was recently in a polycule with three other people. We went out for drinks and ended up at her place while her husband was out of town. She told me that everything was okay and that she was dating solo. A few hours after that, I left her home and I got a call from a random number. It was her husband on a group call with the rest of the polycule. That's interesting. It turns out they were on a dating break and the 36-year-old woman wasn't supposed to be going out. The husband wants me to meet the rest of the group and talk things out. Should I just ghost her and just forget about it? Or should I talk to them and explain myself? I feel bad as I help this woman cheat on her husband and the group. I mean, no, that's on her. Um, I mean, that woman yeah, actually I, has I problems, think that not him. Totally, yeah, he has no issues at all. I feel like he should stop answering the calls from random numbers, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Like, I just... Uh, I don't know where that's really going to get him. And I can't imagine joining a polycule that doesn't, that's just not the way that I date at all. But there's some really interesting people out there that like want to be married, but then also dating other people. And that's just, just crazy to me. It's just an excuse to cheat. I think these yes. people actually have cheating fetishes, which no one yeah. wants to talk about. I've talked about it before. And I think that that's a real thing. Like it's yeah. cheating's a fetish. It's an addiction. Yes. Like people can be addicted to drugs, whatever. People can be addicted to cheating. I think this, because sometimes you're just like, why can't you get it right? You have, how many more people were part of this group? I don't know. Three other people. Yeah. You have more than enough people. Do you really need a fourth person to come yes. in? Yes. Yeah. Do you really? I just can't imagine like, because what I experience in my dating life is like, I have one boyfriend that I'm like deeply in love with and I don't want to be anywhere near anyone else. Yeah. Like, I can't imagine wanting to have multiple partners like that just would not be fun to me at all <laughs> not to like like give you anxiety but you don't ever feel like because he's in the music industry that you get nervous about i groupies. do get nervous about that but then at the same time like he has like you know girls that come to his show but then like i have like a million dudes like in my dms that like if I were to be like that, I could like respond yeah. to somebody. But like because we both have people that do try to talk to us in that way, we kind of trust each other more because like we both can resist it. And like yeah, I, think I that's really hot. Like, and I don't think that... worry about him at all. Aww, like I don't I worry that. I hope you guys get married. <laughs> me too. I hope me you too. Guys me get too. Married. I have like a good feeling about yeah. him. I hope um, you guys really work out. Definitely. You will. Yeah. And uh, I just completely trust him. I've never trusted a man so much in my life. You guys just, are going to get married. Yeah. I really, <laughs> I really see want it. to. I can't wait. I wanna, it's going like, to be a very unique way. We wedding. actually talk about getting married like constantly. Just do it. Yeah, exactly. I say, I mean, I say get married right away. Yeah. But that's like <laughs> bad advice. But Have I you ever been married? Yeah, I've been married three times. Three yeah. times. I know. I, I talk a lot about it because everyone has the same reaction. But I love being married. And I think it brings a different level. And like, it feels different when you say my husband. Like, I know it's like a stupid but for you to be like that's my you know let me call my husband like I yes like that i know that's like my dream <laughs> and like i never really felt that way before but i just want to call him my husband because like boyfriend doesn't cut Go it get boyfriend Mary, sounds tell like him. text him but right we now talk and about say, it we found places we found this place called one hour marriage where you can go there and you go. can get married an hour yeah go yeah i, really I mean in vegas to. yeah you would have to go all the way to vegas but yeah. they do have the time slots and stuff yeah you should text him right after this and be like i really i'm let's I get think, married yeah, tonight like, yes do yeah, it i really want i'm to. rooting for you i'm gonna get a dm and you're gonna be like i got married <laughs> i hope so that's my dream do you want any to chat about anything else um, or like plug anything watch out for my new movie called the french italian and also my new movie blood barn they're not fully out yet but they will be out and they're gonna be great and then watch out on my instagram for more announcements of different things that i'm gonna be in yeah no fashion week you're not doing fashion i don't week. I, it's just i know you said you didn't, you're not it's a lot of effort in, it's yeah, a yeah. lot of effort and yeah. uh possibly but we'll see you should do it mean stuff will be there i'm you're gonna, gonna be come. there yeah okay yeah just to do stupid shit there's always yeah. like parties and like exactly it's yeah. fun for people like me because yeah i just go to shit like i'll be yeah. like okay fine you know yeah. and then i get dressed up i so. actually really 
am obsessed with the way that like I feel like every year more and more girls from the porn industry are like getting involved in like more mainstream yeah. things and I absolutely love it like I love to see that like you're going to fashion week and like all these things like I really believe that like the adult industry just should be like I just think that it's more totally... girls should be able to move on you know yes like, I... everyone should be able to just move on and do like anything I I agree and I think that it actually is getting a little bit more accepting yeah and honestly because of Lana Rhodes like she I feel yeah. like she really has opened up that door totally, for a lot of yeah. people and then people like you and like there's yeah. so many people that have really just like opened up that door and I have never had a bad experience in the main like besides like mm -hmm. people working for me that want to just like steal and like yeah. do weird stuff but that's just with anything yeah um I've always been really well respected I've always had totally, really nice yeah. people I've always had people that are like thank you so much for coming like I think people think that I get shitted on and it's like hard for me out it's there but it's not not at all I, and I it's come actually home happy like just fuck. makes you like unique to have yeah. come from the adult industry like it makes you like just like different you, you should know? hit a poster girl oh, and model yeah. for them like, that would that, be really that's cool that's so your like yeah. style they used Lana you oh, should really yeah. hit them up that would be really you have fun. an agent yeah I do have an agent you should yeah. have them that that's really cool for yeah you. that would be cool they do their awesome. next line yeah that would something be nice. in like off white, like I feel, or maybe not off white. I'm just trying to think yeah. of something like more I bizarre. I feel like anybody with like interesting creative, I'm yeah. always interested in working with. For sure, poster girl gets a little, yeah. a little out there, a little, yes, a little revealing. Yeah. All right, guys, I can't wait for you guys to check this out. Thank you, Heartbreakers. <laughs>